This is the last main episode of Loadout Lottery Season 3. I was very close to reaching level 42, and excited to finish sooner than previous wipes, but I needed luck and success to get there, which Tarkov doesn't always provide. Loadout Lottery! Have you ever found yourself wanting to share something that happened to you in-game? I malfunctioned! I malfunctioned! Well, with the Outplayed app, you can automatically record your games and capture these moments and then easily trim the gameplay to make clips which you can share to your friends and social media. With a huge list of supported games like Escape from Tarkov and more being added constantly, you can be recording and sharing your awesome clips for free with my link in the description below. Thanks to Outplayed for sponsoring this video. I started off the day by rolling the first kit. Fuck oh, yeah! Very close to the end. 86k XP away from level 42. Anything can happen. I'm loaded out lottery! The cheap kit! The Joker card let me choose a helmet from insurance, and I put the loadout together. Suppose I could just take a helmet. Fair enough. I then loaded into a quiet woods raid, where I pretty much just looted and extracted. What am I going to do with that? In the next raid, I watched over the village for a while, then tracked down players at Spine. <clears throat> Look at his little gun. Oh, that was the shot. Unfortunately, I missed my opportunity and lost track of the player. But soon after, an airdrop arrived and I hoped to use it as bait. I'm pretty sure I'd see them arriving or going. I watched over it for quite some time with no luck. And once the flare went out, I looted the crate and headed to extract. In the next raid, a player found me before I spotted him and chased me down. Someone up there. I looted my kill and continued through the map, but wasn't able to find anybody else. The sun being in its current state is not helping. I gave up and reset the raid, this time finding a lot more than I bargained for. Oh my God, he just died. No! There. What was that? Is there a hacker? Oh. Hey man, how's it going, dude? Can, can I get this kill, please? I, I need it. Oh, dude. I need it, bro. Ah. I knew you were going to be invincible. What are you... What do you want? Are you gonna kill me or what? Oh, is this his carry? Oh. oh boy. There wasn't much I could do, so I reported whoever killed me and rolled a new kit. You know, I have to run two bolt actions now, right? I put together my double bolt action loadout and chose an M700 thanks to the Joker card. Yeah, my main weapon. Just check my secondary weapon. Ah, yes, the secondary weapon. 
I quickly heard evidence of another player and began hunting him down, trying to stay back so I could snipe. Oh, you little shit. What? Never let them know your next move, that guy probably. Crap, no way I lost this fucking guy. I had indeed lost this guy, so I reset the raid for another chance at some sniping. <gasps> I did not see him till then. I'd missed that shot and quickly moved to try and get an angle on the other sniper I'd heard. Thoughts about that one, chat? I healed my injuries, then the first person I took a shot at came to investigate. It wasn't the cleanest fight, but I came out victorious and watched a scav walk by as I hid from the sniper and healed myself. Opachki oh, indeed. I had enough of this raid and decided to leave, finding more reasons as I moved through the map. Oh, fuck. What? but I didn't make it far before an opportunity presented itself. Come on. and leg stamina, you stupid fucking game. I was unable to get a good shot on the teammate before he disappeared, so I left myself and insulted my PMC. <laughs> That's you. That's what you sound like, fuckhead. After extracting, I ran another raid where I found some upgrades in stashes. Oh, yeah, get eh? You beauty bonza bonza. Then in the following run, I found some more players to contend with. Oh. Yeah! Yeah! I was pretty happy about the kill and looted the body. Whoa! Alton John? Soon hearing another player nearby.
He never stood still! I ran a few more kits after this that were uneventful, and I died quickly in each of them. Ah, oh, damn it. Where was he? I wasn't too happy at this stage and rolled the last kit for the day. Whatever. I put together the loadout and queued into woods yet again. Uh, right. I headed towards stashes and found a helmet more fitting to my gear before running into a player on the edge of the map. I looted the body and replaced more of my gear, then continued through the map checking stashes. Oh, shit balls! Hey, darling! I extracted safely, loaded back in, and looted more stashes. <gasps> then ran into a player and had another messy fight. Despite the odds, I somehow won and looted the body. That was a rough run. After checking some more stashes, I extracted and switched to the HK. You served me well, Mr. MPX. I appreciate it. HK is my friend now. I loaded back in and watched over the village for a while, but found nothing at first. Big old bag of dicks. Something had found me though. So I ended for the night and rolled a new loadout the next day. I swear this thing hates me. I queued into Shoreline with my new kit and immediately replaced the helmet. Well, that is a different helmet. <laughs> I avoided players and found a new MPX. Done? Ooh. I made it to extract and modded the MPX, then prepared for customs to find Rashala for more XP. I still had no ears, so barely heard another player arrive as I opened this room. Well, I'm fucked. <laughs> I looted the gear and replaced the MPX with an M4 this time. I reset the raid and went looking for Rashala again, reflecting on the day so far. I killed the guy for this kit. It's probably the most exciting thing that's happened. Then that guy. I got a pleasant surprise when I looted the body. Holy fucking shitballs! I grabbed the loot and moved on to dorms. All day, every day. <laughs> Embarrassing us both. Fuck. As usual, there was no Rashala, but there were players. Oh, fuck you guys! 
guys. I rolled another average kid. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop giving me pistols! Why? Which took me to Lighthouse, where I killed a scav and got an ADAR. I then queued into Woods, where the ADAR came in handy. Hey man. Armed with a new 5.56 MDR, I queued into Customs to look for Rajala again. Who's this fucking guy? There were a few more loadouts that didn't go well that day, and eventually the wipe ended not with a bang, but with a whimper. Ah, shit! The psycho sniper change allowed me to finish the task sooner than expected, which led me to finally reaching level 42. Oh, and I get to finish fucking Flint? Oh my god! I'm now perfect mediator because I'm 42! Wow! Oh, good. Oh, that's sick. I accepted my thick weapons case and checked the stats for the wipe. And there's the season three stats. 65 days this time, 74 days last wipe. 125 kits. 137 kits last time. Hard to be that. That was a crazy season of Milestones, and I appreciate everyone watching. There'll be some bonus episodes in the lead up to Wipe and other various videos, so please like and subscribe, and ring the bell if you want to stay notified. Also, this is recorded live on Twitch if you want to see it happen live. Link is in the description. Thanks again for watching.